Hello my friends, Dave FX Hunter here with weekly forex forecast and the CO2 report for the 25th January 2020. So let's quickly look for the past week's result. So we closed some good trades, some bad trades. Uh, as for example, we had a beautiful trade on the Aussie, on the pound, cat, euro USD, on the USD knock on the USD CZK. Those trades, all of them reach more than 100 pips. And unfortunately, we had some losers on the Kiwi dollar, Kiwi and gold and franc yen. So overall for this month, we are trading 640 pips in the profit, which is 5.5% gain if you're risking 1% per trade. So for me, it means on my personal account where I'm trading just the second, uh, just the signals it means for me 6.2 percent gain which is still not bad on the mem account we are trading currently uh, 23 percent uh, gain uh, 24 22.5 percent gain which is uh, i would say pretty good and the mem account should start this week so i think this is something what i will be uh, delivering as a result every month let's see so for this video i have something new which i decided to shorten the videos because uh, i was looking at the analysis of the videos and uh, all of them looks really same uh, like uh, the people are really watching just the 21 percent of the whole videos it's might because i'm making like uh, 30 minutes which i think is pretty long and what i have found is that most interest is of course on the beginning on the first 10 minutes because then after 10 minutes my blah 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 is became be boring and as well i realized that everyone is scrolling uh, all these whereas the views increase slightly uh, it's always when on the pic uh, on the video is this cot so i think that uh, based on this i think that most of the people is uh, interested into knowing about the cot data and uh, cot analysis so i decided to do these videos just about the cot analysis and for the crosses and uh, some trades i will be updating this uh, on my trading view where i decided to do the more works again so this is for that and let's go to the charts right now we are looking to the dollar index which is right now in the slight uh, let's call it pullback because overall we are in this downtrend which has started um, which has started here on the bottom when on the top when market reaches. so what is happening right now we can see that uh, uh, market reached this bottom on the 30 31st of December and since then the price is moving up but we cannot see any big increasement in the longs like you know this is like just 2k and uh, uh, we can see a slight slightly same the shorts as well the net positions are not changing but what we can see is that net positions are uh, pretty a lot below the average so what does it say it's, it's uh, not too much from the view of the cot but what we can say is that here we can see this nice supply zone from where started this shorting and it was here so here the bank started to close their longs positions and i think that we will might see something like this and from here we, we will probably see the drop again so for now i think that we still could see a little bit move higher but as been said uh, here on the dollar index it doesn't say too much so we must look to the other uh, major pairs to de decode what is going on and it's really nice to see uh, uh, on this aussie because what we are seeing here is uh, that since the 31 december which was here the bank started to make this uh, short move and uh, now we must know if is it uh, if it's like a trend reversal long term or if is it just the pullback on the on this uh, uptrend right and this is uh, how we're gonna use the cot to decode this so what we can see let me clear this uh, so what we can see is this we are seeing that the banks are dropping the price down and each this uh, cot report we can see that the 
the lungs are being closed so they closing the lungs then they add some lungs to 51 then they move it up they close them again price drop and we can see that they closed even more lungs so and what is happening with the shorts as well being reduced right and right now look at this we have 61k shorts and if we look all the way down did we ever had uh, in this year in the last uh, six months and even if we look even lower uh we didn't have such a small or long positions right as well look at the net position this is the another indices we can see just minus 20k against the minus 37k average right shorts are below average longs are above average we are getting into the nice zone is this nice zone uh, for me yes because this is the demand zone where the nice volume started and what started here this this racket move started here so i would say that uh, we would might see something like this now is the question how it's gonna happen because uh, we are seeing that the banks are closing these long positions right and they need to uh, buy them again and uh, mostly when the banks are buying they need to create something like a panic on the market so they could might do something because we can see this trend line right uh, this um, many traders have this uh, this is in every stupid book this trend line so what i'm expecting that my we would see something like a fake break you know and then if the price retrace back then it would be perfect to join this um, don't join this continuation of the uptrend so here uh, when if it breaks the people will start to sell and if they sell the banks buys right so it's a question how it's gonna happen we don't know we can just make a probabilities and the scenarios of course there is a problem that the banks have such a big money they can do hedging so they can even take the price down like this before they start to move it up so what we have to do always we can only control the risk and uh, and um, trade these probabilities so i'm bullish on this and i think it will come soon very similar situation is happening on the euro usd so what we are seeing here we have as well on this market uh, this nice uptrend sorry let me use uh, this one so we have this nice uptrend right price is dropping right now and what we are seeing is that the longs already been ad being added in this period the banks added some longs positions however they dropped the price lower i don't know why but uh, it happened so it's maybe again this fake which i'm waiting on the posi is might happening right now here we can see that the short positions being closed for the last four weeks so it's uh it's one two three four so if you are the bank and you have in here as they had this 241 positions and you want to take the price down all the way down here would you close these positions here here and here of course not what would you do you would add more more and you would be but it's not happening it's not happening here so they're not adding so much positions yes they added 3k here but why they did it because if they if they are here and they starting to add the 4k longs they need to add as well some short to bring it lower so this is the same case which i'm thinking is happening right now and it's in the confluence with the dollar right so let's look back uh, to the dollar so as i said we are expecting to move the price a little bit up and then down right and then if we are going to the another two markets uh, which was this one so again i'm expecting a little bit as it's opposite a little bit down and then up and uh, on the euro it's gonna be something similar so based on this behavior i'm thinking that we will see continuation of the uptrend now it's the pound and pound is a little bit uh, confusing for me so i stay away for a couple reasons so let me explain we can see that here we had uh, in the past this big move up which was caused uh, um i mean uh, this move up right which was caused uh, by not adding the long positions but by the massive profit taking from the shorts this caused this move up 
and right now in the last four weeks or i don't know one two let's take it from here so it's like two four six seven weeks banks started to add it really some long positions so if we look for the past six seven weeks so, so it's one two three four five six seven right so average is somewhere here so in this in this period the banks are adding the long positions and they still closing the short position so we can see that the, the longs are above the average shorts are below the average net positions above average but currently what happened we can see that um, the banks has closed some longs right but now is the question how that happened because uh, uh, we can see that here they are it long so why the price moving down and so on is adding the longs positions closing the shorts and then what happened then price moved up down and here is the report right so this report they probably closed some longs they reported just this and then the next three days so wednesday wednesday thursday friday which is this last three candles we don't have a data so what probably happened here that could be question because uh, they could take the price up and they could add the short positions to take it down here or if it, or is it uh, or is it just a fake to hate hide uh, that they are adding uh, more longs positions and the price will continue up that's the question i'm thinking that we will see something like this but i will be watching it uh, more closely for me right now it's very difficult to uh, decide if i want to go long for one reason i like to buy you know the show uh, i like to buy on the low so at least somewhere here you know or at least somewhere here when the liquidity is taken out i would like to enter and for the shorts we must be somewhere here or here so right now the price is in the middle of this so what can happen you know as i already said they have such a big capital that they, they can do hedging they can take it down or even up so for this for now it's um, not to for the swing trading and holding it for a long time uh, it's not good to enter right now because it's better to take a long here or shorts here you know so for the pound um, i don't see nothing right now on the crosses yes there is a nice opportunity but uh, this i will be speak later in my telegram channel and on the trading view now here is the kiwi where we had this losing trades which i made this stupidity um or not uh, let's say you know i don't want to call it stupidity just it was my feeling that uh, uh something's gonna happen which didn't happen and now i see i'm seeing it more brightly because we have the data so what's happening here price was moving in this uh, big long-term channel it's a little bit overshoot by the 15 percent of the fibo but we still didn't reach this long-term channel right and right now we drop down back to this middle of this channel and now is the question will the price drop even to the low of the channel or will it continue up again and uh, this is what will the cot data will help us to decode so what we can see here we can see that the banks did not have any big longs positions right in the past while the market was moving up it's same case like on the uh, gbp right so price was moving up in these parts without any big longs however on the 31th december they finally reported pretty big positions on the long switch is here since then what is happening we can see that they as well while the price was moving up those last three weeks which was uh, here two and this third week they started to build the short positions we can see that they started to build it i mean this three weeks sorry it was this three weeks until the december so they started to they bring 5k longs from the 24 from here from the 24k let me make it like this to the 29 so in this period they added 5k longs and right now shorts i'm sorry so they've been probably adding it here you know something on the here something on the here so they could have uh, some average price somewhere here so they probably could 
was able to close it in the profit. And what's happening right now? The price is dropping down for the another. We have another free report, this free report. So price was since then dropping down. And what's happening with the longs positions? We can see uh, longs dropped from 27 to 24, right? In these. So longs are dropping, but what's happening with the shorts? Shorts as well closing right same case like on the euro usd so if they want to take the price down here i don't think they would close these shorts here so what does it say so it says that they basically closing the longs positions to be able add more and uh when once they are closing the short positions they will definitely want to take the price up if you look to the more indices we can see that uh, the longs positions became 20% above the 13 weeks average short positions are 20% above below the weeks average look at the net positions average 13 weeks minus 20 and right now we are it's actually the first week report after the maybe one year when we are in the positive numbers so it's actually the beginning of the bullishness so I don't know how how it's gonna happen right but I think that we will see, you know, of course it's not gonna be candles like this, but I think that we will see some move up. So how is gonna happen if they will haunt it first here or like this, you know, some proper pin bar and then up? I don't know, but um, this is for the more deeper deeper analysis, which I will be doing on the trading US set. But bank sentiment is definitely bullish. So looking only for the longs. Cat is very tricky one. This is very tricky, guys. So what's happening here? We can see that the price was dropping for some time, as it's uh, as as we can see it here on the COT data. Uh, sorry, here. So the banks had the shorts. Then they started to close the shorts, and uh, they on the here. So here they reported some long positions. But what happened? This is quite uh, interesting. So price moved up into the next report, which is here. And they closed these shorts. They then the next report they had for from 52 to 41, and they built the shorts. Then next report is here. So in this period, they basically closed. They closed another longs, and they added a little bit shorts again. Then what happened here from from this period to the, this period? We can see that they added some more shorts, and they closed even more longs. Now is the question because the report is here and these moves happened uh, uh, the days after. So what they could do basically, they could close massive, massive uh, uh, short positions and let the price move up into the supply zone. Now is the question if, if the price will start to drop down from here because they could add more shorts here. I don't know, um, and uh, this is this one is really now um, not clear for me. So what could happen as well here is uh, that this is the long term channel, so it could hold and the price could drop down again. So I think that uh, most likely we will see this drop down because the dollar is getting weak against the most of the currencies here as well. This uh, supply zone is the zone where the nice volume started to drop come into the market you know and once the price is moving up here uh, we don't have too much volume this could be you know closing volume stopping volume so most likely the price will start to drop down and uh, i think it's gonna be soon just but this is just the based on the i'm um, expect that i'm expecting sorry uh the weak dollar uh, so let's see what's gonna be future for this pair. This is the USD franc and this one uh, uh, it's right now start to be clear as well. So we are seeing that we came into this uh, sorry into this uh, long term middle of the channel which was broken, retested once, retested two, two and right now we are here. And look what happened here. So we have been in the 36k longs and right now just 10k, right? What's happening with the shorts? Nothing much. So this drop down was just made by the closing the longs positions. And right now we don't have a longs, 
the shorts are still something like uh, almost for a year uh, between the 16 to 10k you know so nothing extra and uh, we are getting into the negative numbers as well this is changing here right so it's the first time when it start to looks bearish so what i'm thinking now is that uh, this nice supply zone which is here and we can see that from here the nice volume started come to the markets right so we might could see that uh, move as we speak about on the on the dollar to move up take out this liquidity and then down right this is what i see on the clt this is the mexican peso beautiful pair for trading but uh, this doesn't look good right it's just uh, like a, like a small move however here is nice positive swap on the short so that would be good and what, what we see here is very easy we can see that uh, the banks has been very bullish with the longs now longs are two times smaller and the shorts are st shorts are still heavy you know on this pad and what is happening right now we can see we are getting into 84 percent to the negative and look at the uh, net positions minus 70k minus 170k the biggest short positions yes and where we are right now we are on this middle band of uh, this long term channel you know actually this is the short term channel and this long term channel was broken and we are seeing uh, these spikes you know these rejections so everything says that this would be nice short right so this is actually the right now where some speaking about it this could be very good short all right so the next one is probably the last one i think yes so this is the usd jpy and uh, this one is a little bit now okay let's take it this way so we have this uh, long-term channel which has been penetrated it was been broken or retested and uh, here is this uh, short-term channel i'm still thinking that we could see this right right now we are in this middle where i don't like to trade much but uh, as we are retesting this long-term channel and as we if we look to the data we can see the banks still adding the big longs and they added uh, the longs in here and i think these longs should be closed somewhere and this actually this one this blue thing it's a gap and i think this gap should be closed so and we are seeing you know this what's happening here so i'm thinking that uh, we will still see continuation of this uptrend uh, on the kiwi yen because uh, this is still not uh, the biggest numbers they could bring and we are in the positive numbers so if they have uh, these longs i don't know if this happened by the closing these longs but i think that if they have the long position they would like to close them here so let's see let's see and this is everything from me i'm sorry it took 20 minutes but i think and i hope that this is uh, good for you to watch and th that it's more interesting than the other videos that i that i was doing uh, in the past Thank you very much.